We'll guide you through how to fix a laptop or PC not connecting to Wi-Fi. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. This problem can be really annoying as you're then unable to go and use the internet. So we'll show you some different fixes you can try. Now you may go and find, if I click on the internet button in the bottom right here, the Wi-Fi isn't even showing up here, as in the icon, or you may just be unable to connect. We'll guide you through fixes for both. So to get started, click on the search at the bottom and you want to go and type in device manager. In here, you need to go and find the option for network adapters and press the arrow to the left. Then what you need to do is go and find your Wi-Fi adapter. You can see this is mine here. First of all, make sure it's enabled. When you right click on it, if it says enable device, click on it. If it says disabled, it means it is. Then what we can do is press update driver and we can do an automatic search here. In this case, the best ones are installed. However, if there's one available, it will go and install it and you can see if that solves the problem. If it still doesn't, press the search at the bottom and you want to go and type in services like so. Now we need to go and start scrolling down here. This is in alphabetical order. So come down to W and find WLAN auto config. Double click on it and you want to make sure the startup type is set to automatic and that it's currently running. Press start if you need to and then press apply and press okay. And go and see if that goes and solves the problem. If it still doesn't, then what we can try doing is pressing the Windows start button at the bottom of your computer and pressing settings. We can just try searching for it. In the search, you can go and type in network reset like so and you want to go and click on it what we can do is do a full reinstall of the network adapters this can often go and solve the problem so you can come over to the right and press reset now press reset and your computer will restart go and see if that solves the problem if you found this useful then leave a like